us a like, no matter what I know, no matter where we go. He loves us. It's awesome. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder. And my Uncle Mario says you can wiggle your ears if you try really hard. So I'm looking in the mirror to see if I can do it. I can't wiggle my ears. But I can make faces in this mirror. Making faces is even more fun than trying to wiggle your ears. Let's do one together. This is my sad face. Can you make a sad face too? Oh, you all look so sad. This is my happy face. Everyone make a happy face. Yes, those are great happy faces. Let's think. Oh, sometimes I feel frustrated, like when I can't make my ears wiggle. Can you make a frustrated face? <gasps> Great job! Hmm, what's another face I can... Oh! What about an afraid face? Can you make one of those? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Feeling a little scared, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm making all kinds of faces in this mirror. That was my afraid face. Feeling afraid is nothing new. I know someone else who was scared, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Look at all these faces. They show us a lot of feelings. Surprised, sleepy, afraid. Wait, have you ever felt afraid before? Me too, and I have a story about someone who felt afraid. Do you want to hear it? Great! If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with a man named Gideon. Look at his face. Can you tell how Gideon is feeling? Yes, he is afraid. Can you show me your afraid face? Oh, wow, look at all those afraid faces. Gideon was afraid of the big, powerful Midianite army. Gideon was afraid because the Midianite army was taking everything from God's people, the Israelites. If the Israelites had sheep, the Midianites took them. If the Israelites had food, the Midianites took it. If the Israelites had a place to sleep, the Midianites took it too. Gideon was so afraid the Midianites would take his food that he got an idea. Gideon decided to hide in a hole in the ground so the Midianites would not see his food and take it away from him. God knew that Gideon was feeling afraid, so God sent an angel to talk to him. Then Gideon talked to God. 
Do you think we can talk to God when we're afraid? Yes, we can always pray and talk to God no matter how we're feeling because God loves us no matter what. God loved Gideon and told the angel to say, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. God was with Gideon and that made Gideon feel better. Do you ever feel afraid sometimes? Me too. Show me your afraid face again. <laughs> yes! It's okay for us to feel afraid sometimes. God loves us when we're afraid. God is always with us and God loves us no matter what. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loved Gideon when he felt afraid. And God loves us when we're afraid, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow! God was with Gideon and loved Gideon even when he was afraid. And God loves us no matter what, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's so awesome that God loves us no matter what. Like, God loves us when we feel afraid, happy, and sad, and silly. God loves us when we feel silly. See you next time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.